to this week's gaming math, where in this week, all we can say is Nintendo is swimming in money. That is unbelievable to say, but the Nintendo Switch is officially better than the PlayStation 4 when it comes to the Japan market. That's right, in gaming math, we will go over the media create sales just to see how, because they're really physical numbers. We see, you know, how these companies are doing in Japan. That's a good tell sign of how gaming industry is heading. And this week, we're looking at Nintendo basically rocking the market. So that's what we're going to do before we get into the hardware and software sales of the Nintendo Switch and all of its competitors. We're going to talk about the giveaway. Yes, as you saw yesterday in the Welcome to the Temple of Games video, I'm doing a giveaways here on the channel to help boost up the subscribers and followers on Twitter, which are two ways to enter into the giveaway. Um, and this giveaways month will be for $40 worth of eShop gift cards. Woo! That's right. So how's this process work? I'm going to explain a little bit more in detail here. Um, the, I want at least 500 subscribers. So as quickly as we can do that, and that's why I'm giving this giveaway out for $40. So as soon as I hit 50, I will draw a random name. Um, from, a, from the pool of people who have registered with their email address and full name, and I will send an email out to that person stating, hey, you got the $40. And if, when you confirm that, hey, I'm aw that's awesome, can't wait to get them, I will send them out to your address to get the information out that way. It's a little more private that way, and that way I can tell if you're, you know, uh, a bot or something like that and if you haven't responded within three days I will go on to the next person and so on and so forth until I get a return email so once I get to the 500 subscribers it could be a week could be a month could be two months could be a year um, that's when I will draw the name so again I'm trying to do this every sporadically so 500 subs uh, will be the ideal mark so how you do how can you uh, Get in, entered into this contest. Well, there's a link down below um, called giveaway, um, and you can subscribe. And the, how you enter is you have to subscribe to the channel, and there's an extra way if you haven't already. You can follow Temple of Games on Twitter. Please go through the link if you're going to do it though. That way you're registered for the giveaway. So that's super duper exciting. So enough about the giveaway. If you have any questions, email or tweet me. I'll have, I'll answer them as best I can. Uh, we'll talk about that more in depth, so just pay attention, because I will announce the winner on here uh, that says, hey, this person got announced, and we're moving on to the next giveaway. This is where the giveaway portion of the channel will happen, but the link will always be in every video, so pay attention to that, guys. So let's move on to the hot, or some, sorry, the software sales of the, of the week. And here is why I say Nintendo Switch has surpassed the PlayStation 4. Well, Tim, why do you say that? The PS4 has their one game spot. That is true. But look at um, the sales for a game that just came out on both consoles of the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch. My Hero One's Justice is at the number two spot on this list for the Switch. I mean, it sold about 8,000 more copies than what the PS4 did. The PS4's uh, position is on number five. It didn't beat Splatoon. It did beat Minecraft. So... That tells you that the Japan market has embraced the Nintendo Switch, if you haven't already guessed that, and they're really supporting, and that's why every Japanese developer, from Square Enix to Capcom, you know, they're all trying to get their their games on this system because they know that this will be the game system to beat, um, at least until gener the next generation comes out, probably with the PS5, if I had to be clear. I cannot see the Xbox doing well, but let's go over the top 10. And I'll give my thoughts on what's in Conan Exiles. It's from Spike Chun Soft, uh, and that debuted with 32,117. Just so you know, it's kind of a down week. Uh, we're really about to start getting into the busy season, which is why, um, as you saw, I'm having eight games on the channel, and they're all coming out in the next four months, which is really busy. Uh, debut number one, good job for that game. Uh, number two spot, My Hero Wants Justice from Bad Nine Amco, uh, 24,626. At number three, down two spots, Minecraft, uh, physical edition from My Microsoft Game Studios. Uh, for the Nintendo Switch debut, or is currently sitting at 230,404. So it's a 30% drop, drop from where it was last week. It's still hanging in there. I'm surprised it even broke into the top 10. Uh, at number four, dropping down two spots, Splatoon 2. Uh, at 2. Point, almost 2.6 million units, which is really, really sad. Like I said before, Splatoon 2 will never 
and I mean never leave the top 10. That'll be one that will stick around for a long time. At the number 5 spot, debuting there, My Hero won Justice for the PS4. 16,026 units of the game have been sold. Again, this is physical, let's just point that out, physical copies of the game. No digital games are included in this, so just physical. At the number six spot, down two spots. Seems like a trend of two right now. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe at 1.7 million copies sold. So, uh, just as just in Japan, by the way. So, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the number one best selling game of all of Switch's lifetime, uh, with Splatoon, Zelda, and Mario being up there as well. Um, expect this will also stay in the top 10 for quite some time, at least until the next Mario Kart game comes out. Um, Drum and Fun uh, debuted or is at number 7, down 4 spots uh, with 172,849. Pretty good job from Bandai Namco Games. Um, United States should be getting this game roughly probably in the next month. I want to say, I want to say next month. And as you see, Wireware Gold still sticking in the top 10 for the 3DS. Uh, is currently sitting at almost 80, 79,500. Uh, we'll see if it breaks 100,000. I just, wire where it never got to me, so maybe this was just a bad idea. And Mario Tennis Aces at number nine, down three spots, uh, with 30, 324,490, which is pretty good for, you know, Mario Tennis Aces with their DLC coming out. Should be very, very good. And at number 10, The Legends of the Breath of the Wild, down only one spot. I think this might be pushed out of the top 10 next week at 1,091,794 games total. Um, so I definitely expect this game to be pushed out of the top 10 probably next week unless, you know, Conan and My Hero One Justice just falls out of the top 10. But we'll see. Next week, you know, it's going to be a little busy here around. So we'll see. Let's look at the hardware sales now, of course. As you can tell from the from last week's sales to this week's, there is a downturn for all gaming systems. Nintendo Switch did take the biggest hit, but again, there's not much going on for the Switch at this moment. Um, probably not until uh, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 DLC. But again, this does not include the Monster Hunter Ultimates. Or Monster Hunter Ultimates. So we'll see that probably tick up. Probably next week, I could say. Probably get above 50,000. As you see, PlayStation at 22,000. 3DS still roughing about the 8. PS Vita starting to decline a little bit more. But actually, the only one that actually went up was the Xbox One. Where it was up by maybe, what, 20? 20 or so units? Which is pretty sad. And as you see, for lifetime sales, uh, the Switch coming up at 5 million on the overall lifetime sales for it in Japan. 2 million, almost 2 million away from the PS4, which is very, very interesting to say the least, and almost exactly a million away from the PS Vita, which will probably be its next big hurdle, and I expect it to pass both the PS4 and PS Vita at the end of the year, because you got, you know, Super Mario Party, you got Starlink, you got Pokemon, and you got Smash, but they're still to come, so there's a lot of stuff going on there, but that's everything, guys, what do you guys think about the market, how's it handling, how's it going, do you really think the Switch is doing better than the PS4, have you got both systems or you have one, What's your, what game are you playing this weekend, comment below, let me know, and I always will try to respond to you guys, so it's super exciting, and remember to enter in the giveaway for the $40 gift cards for the Nintendo eShop, you know, Pokemon's coming up, Super Smash Bros. is coming up, could use them, that'd be fun, thank you guys so much, let's catch you next Sunday for more Gaming Math, bye.